energy comes from. The three major fossil fuels, coal, oil and natural gas, are all formed from organic remains of prehistoric plants and animals. These remains are subject to intense pressure over millions of years, changing them into coal, oil and gas. We often find oil and natural gas in similar areas, hundreds of meters below the seabed, though gas is usually found deeper still. Through seismology, it's possible to artificially create vibrations on the surface by using controlled explosions and record how these vibrations are reflected back to the surface, revealing the properties of the rock layers beneath. Wells are drilled from a drilling rig to confirm the presence and quantity of gas in the rock, which travels up lengths of pipe once reached. If there is enough gas, the drilling rig is replaced by a production platform to collect and send it to the shore under pressure via pipeline. National Grid then takes the gas from the shore and sends it around the countryside through steel pipelines over one metre wide. As the gas gets closer to homes, the pipelines split into smaller ones, which may only be 20 millimetres wide. How electricity is made. Atoms consist of a positively charged central nucleus and negatively charged electrons, which float around the outside in much the same way as satellites orbit the Earth. When groups of atoms form materials, such as metals, electrons are free to move and flow, jumping between the atoms. These materials are known as conductors. This movement or flow of electrons is what we know as electricity. Power stations work by turning mechanical energy, movement, into electrical energy. A mechanical force turns a turbine, which rotates large magnets within coils of wire, and this induces electrical current, generating electricity. Electricity generators can be powered in a number of ways. Burning fossil fuels, coal, oil and natural gas are traditional fuels, but are harmful to the environment and cause climate change. Plutonium can be split to create nuclear energy. This method can produce huge amounts of electricity, but nuclear material is unstable and requires very careful management, and disposal of byproducts is difficult. Biomass is a renewable source of energy, including natural substances such as wood, organic waste, hydrogen gas, and alcohol fuels. There are also other fuels which are renewable and are better for the environment. Wind power can harness the wind to turn the turbines and generate electricity. Hydropower uses the power and weight of water to turn the turbines. Solar power can also be used to generate electricity by capturing the sun's energy. National Grid can take the electricity generated from any of these sources, putting it into the network that eventually delivers electricity to homes and high streets around the country. National Grid plays a vital role in delivering gas and electricity to many millions of people across Great Britain and northeastern US in an efficient, reliable and safe manner. Electricity cannot be stored, so National Grid must balance supply and demand on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. This function also ensures the security and quality of energy supply across the whole system, so that it's always there when it's needed.